Buildings designed to resist earthquake damage often utilize steel structures. Why is steel particularly good at providing energy dissipation? So a material that is good at providing energy dissipation is a tough material. A tough material can withstand significant amounts of force whilst plastically deforming and in doing so will absorb a good amount of energy. So toughness is comprised of two properties. One is how strong the material is and the second is how ductile it is. So if a material is stronger, that means it can withstand more force. A strong material is one which has a high ultimate tensile stress, which is the maximum stress it can withstand before it breaks. And if a material is ductile, it can be drawn into a wire. So that basically means that when you apply a tensile force, when you pull the material apart, it plastically deforms and stretches out. So stronger means a higher force withstood. Ductile means that it's experiencing that force over a larger distance as it's plastically deforming. So more ductile means it stretches out, experiences a force over a longer distance, and work done is force times distance. So if a material can withstand more force over a larger distance, it can have more work done on it and therefore dissipate more energy. We can also see this from a stress-strain curve. So if this is stress, if this is strain, the area underneath this curve is work done per unit volume, which is a measure of toughness. We can make that area bigger by making the curve higher and wider. Making it higher means making the material stronger because higher stress means it's a strong material. Making it wider means it's more ductile. If the plastic deformation region is longer, that is indicative of it being a ductile material. Okay, so let's look at the options. Option A, steel is ductile and able to deform plastically. Yes, that makes sense. Option B, steel is hard and able to deform plastically. So if it's hard, that means it can resist surface indentation. That doesn't really have anything to do with it dissipating energy. So this doesn't have anything to do with it. Being able to plastically deform does, but overall, no, this is not useful. Option C, steel is stiff and able to resist deformation. We don't want it to resist deformation, so it can't be C. And that's also why it can't be D. It says steel is strong, which is correct, but it says able to resist deformation, and therefore it can't be D, it must be 